Hi guys, I'm Chris. This is my show, My Life is an Air Adventure. Um, I just got back from Indiana Toy and Comic Expo in Bloomington at the Convention Center. Um, it's put on by a good buddy of mine, uh, Billy Cooper. Um, this is third year. I've only been going... I've only gone two years, but uh, this is third year going. Um, I got a lot of swag. I got some stuff there. A lot of stuff there. And then I bought um, some stuff at Walmart and GameStop that I'm going to show you. I don't think I'm going to take anything out of the box because I'm tired right now. Um, I haven't been to bed since midnight last night. So, um, I'm getting too old for this. Mm. Um, okay, first off, I got to meet one of my um, favorite YouTube personalities. Um, he does toy reviews for... Uh, Playmates Nickelodeon, or er, Playmates Nickelodeon Ninja Turtles line, and uh, he does some Master of the Universe uh, toy reviews and other stuff too. Um, it's in case you don't know who I'm already talking about. It's uh, Pixel Dan. Um, so I got to meet him, and that was great. I got to talk to him for a little bit. And I walked away, tried not to bother him the whole convention, and then went back and talked to him some more. So he was a great guy, really nice, uh, easy to talk to. Um, Great guy. Really enjoyed it. Um, so I got this shirt. That was first thing. Um, I got uh, this out of the box um, kind of... I mean, he's kind of scarred up, but not terribly. Like, I don't mind it. Um, I don't... I'm not going to ever spend $70 for one uh, Hikari. But it's classic G1 Bumblebee. Um... Hikari, um, you can see there's a little marking on his foot there, um, no box whatsoever. He said, the guy I bought it from, and I couldn't tell you what booth it was, said it didn't have a box, um, and that's fine by me. Like I said, I'll never buy a full, uh, full price Hikari, because they're way too expensive, but I think he looks cool. He's fairly light for something as big as he is. Um, so, yeah, he's hollow, his his head swivels, um, his arms move. I don't know much about Hikari, um, but I think he looks fine. I mean, he's a little marked up, but I, I, I don't care. I think he looks he looks great. Um, it's classic Bumblebee, what's not to like? Um, Bumblebee is a Volkswagen Beetle, and you'll never be able to tell me anything else. Um, so, yeah, I bought that. Uh, for six bucks, by the way. Uh, I don't know what a good price is, but, I mean, it seemed like a good price to me. You can see his Autobot symbol. You can tell it's Bumblebee. That's a good price to me. Um, I finally picked up a Scream uh, Ghostface Funko Pop. I've been waiting forever. In fact, I've been waiting since last year at the con, and, I, and the figure wasn't even out yet. Like, he didn't come out for another... Of course, last year the con was at the end of July, beginning of August, and this year it's at the end of August, so, um, you know, it's a, an extra month away, but, like, he didn't come out till right around Christmas time last year, and I wasn't sure I wanted him, but there was a guy there that had him. Um, I was originally planning on buying, like, seven of these so that I have one for each killer from the movie, but I don't think I'm going to do that. It's a little over the top, but I've got one. He looks fine. Um, so yeah, there's a little crease on the, some creases on the back, but that might have just been from carrying them around in my bags. But I'm a big fan of the Scream movies. I like the TV series, too. Of course, the TV series uses a different mask. But I really like, um, the Scream movies, and I love Ghostface. Um, so I had to have at least one of him. And he is Pop Movies number 51. Um, if you've never picked him up, um, I'm not a hundred percent sold on the pop, um, but I had I had to have one of them. Um, let's see what else did I get from? I picked up from this is all from the same vendor, and I didn't get a business card or anything from him. Um, he didn't have everything I wanted. He had a lot I wanted, but not everything. Um, but he didn't have the complete set of Inside Out. Uh, which I was really hoping he would get. 
I w- was really hoping he would have. Um, if he'd had the whole set, I probably would have gone broke buying the whole set. But since he he was missing sadness um, and disgust, I didn't have Bing Bong. But I didn't want Bing Bong. I wanted uh, I wanted the the five emotions. So since he didn't have sadness and disgust, I didn't get joy or fear either. I just got anger, who is voiced by Lewis Black, one of my favorite comedians. And he, in box, is probably the heaviest, one of the heaviest pops um, I've ever felt in my hand. Um, I, I don't know, I don't go around weighing him, but... Um, He's one of the heavier pops I've ever held. Now I really want sadness, so I'll definitely get her to go. I'll I'll, I'll get sadness, joy, disgust, and fear to go with him um, for sure. Eventually, I need to find a spot for him on my shelf and maybe get new shelves. Um, but I had to have him. Um, I brought my I bought my brother a uh, Andrew Luck. Um, uh, Funko Pop. Um, we're from Indiana. He's a big Colts fan. I don't like the Colts at all. Um, even though he used to work security at the stadium. Um, sorry, I have a gnat flying around in here. Um, so, uh, I bought him Andrew Luck. Because um, I told him when they first announced the football players that I would get him an Andrew Luck, and if you watched all my videos, you know I have a uh, Aaron Rodgers uh, from the Green Bay Packers, who lost again yesterday, but it's preseason, so I guess it doesn't matter. Um, I bought, uh, yeah, I got him at the show. I was trying to remember if I got him at the show or at uh, GameStop later. This case is kind of meh, funky, but it's okay because I take him out. I got me a regular, uh, gold, you know, a regular colored dialect, um, who is number 232, two, two, 223, gosh, I'm kind of math, they're number dyslexic, I don't know what the word is for that, I used to know it, but, um, 223 in the pop television series, um, I have the black dialect. Darlek, Dilek, however you say it. Um, and like, I, I wasn't originally planning on, or wasn't even sure if I was going to get any of them, but um, I, I got that the black Darlek in a trade, and I really liked it. Like, I love the design. I think he looks perfect. Um, so I had to get the, uh, the regular Darlek to go with him, and he'll go up on the shelf eventually with my... Uh, the rest of my Doctor Who Funko Pops. Now I'm looking for the uh, 12th Doctor SDCC, right? San Diego Comic Con. Yeah, it's SDCC exclusive. Him in the him in the flight suit. That's the 12th Doctor Peter Capaldi. Uh, but right now he's going for for around 70 bucks on eBay and. I just don't want to spend that much money on one pop. Um, he's probably worth it, and I'll probably re- regret it if I don't get him um, eventually. But um, right now, I just don't want to spend that much money on one Funko Pop. Um, so I got the other Funko item I got is the... Mikey and the Turtle Band. Um, I got this for my friend for Christmas last year. Hey. Um, and, but I hadn't got it for myself. Same with actually Ghostface. I bought that for the same friend. I actually bought that for my friend's wife. Um, but I hadn't got it for myself yet. And I'd been holding off. And I took a bunch of money. Um, and spent probably way too much I actually came home with money uh, and then proceeded to spend it at Walmart and GameStop. Uh, but it is Funk, Funko Pop Rides 05. Now I've got 02 
and whatever Daryl is. Does anyone know what Daryl, what Funko Ride Daryl is? Let me pause this and go check. Daryl is number eight. So I've got two, five, and eight. Um, you know, it kind of occurs to me that uh, the TARDIS should be a uh, Funko Pop ride because it's a ride. Um, but I don't think it's. A, I don't think they consider it a Funko Pop ride. I think it's just a Funko, you know, standard or uh, a six-inch Funko Pop, um, which I suppose is fine because if it was a ride, it would have to come with an, uh, a figure because most rides come with figures. Um, so I've got two, five, and eight. I want to get the uh, Lola with Agent Coulson from Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Uh, ride that comes out supposedly like around the end of October, I think. Um, and I might get the Ecto-1. I've only got Slimer right now, but I might get the Ecto-1 with the rest of um, the, uh, the Ghostbusters at some point, just because it looks cool. I'm not a big fan of Ghostbusters. I don't, I've never even seen all the movies two movies all the way through, but I liked it. I mean, it's it's the Ecto-1. It's a classic vehicle. Um, it looks great. Um, you know, it just looks cool. Even if you're not a fan of the movies, you th it looks cool. Um, the other one I have is the Time Machine, by the way. It's it's number two. Um, so I have those three rides, and like I said, I'm going to get Coulson. I probably won't get the Batmobile. I definitely won't get Scarface's car. So that would probably be, I don't know, you, someone here probably knows the numbers. Maybe they're not even all out, because I know that uh, they've also got the crystal ship from Breaking Bad, which I really think was, I mean, it's okay, yes, the crystal, crystal ship was classic, but I think they would have been better off giving getting the RV with Dale from, uh, Walking Dead, um, and you know, hell, the hell with it. They could reuse the RV from the Crystal Ship Funko and just make me a Dale Pop. I want a Dale Pop, um, but I probably won't get one. Um, the other thing I got, I got a bunch of comic books. I'm gonna pause again so I can show you the comic books. Hold on, be right back. Okay, okay, I've got a whole bunch of comic books. I'm gonna go through them really quickly. Um, and show you uh, the cover and tell you what they are. Um, the first one is one I've not actually read either of the books yet. It's called We Stand on Guard. Um, this is issue one. Um, I think there's only two issues out. I buy my books from, and it's by Brian K. Vaughn, who does, uh, who did uh, Runaways and Why the Last Man and Saga, right? I don't like Saga, but I liked Why the Last Man and Runaways, so... Um, hopefully I'll like this. Um, but I heard good things about it. I haven't read it yet. I'm looking forward to reading it. So I've got number one and number two's in the pile too. I got uh, Descender number five. Um, I think I've only got the first three issues, so I should have uh, four in here as well. Um, I've got Birthright number nine, which is really good, a really good series. Um, I enjoy, um, We Stand On Guard number, uh, two. Um, I've got Nail Biter number 15. Um, so yay. I don't know, I've only got one issue of that in here, and I thought there was more than that out that I needed. Um, I've got Outcast number 11. Big fan of uh, Outcast by Robert Kirkman. Um, there's a series coming out, but I think it's either on Cinemax or Stars, and I don't have either of those channels. I have to see if a friend of mine has it, and I might watch it with her. Um, I, but I really enjoy that series so far. Um, of course, Robert, Robert, Robert Kirkman does Walking Dead. Um, Descender number 6. Like I said, great series. I really love the art by um, Dustin, I want to say Nugent, but if someone wants to correct me, and the story is by Jeff Lemire, Lemire. Um, so if someone wants to correct me on that, um, go ahead, because I could be wrong. 
Uh, again, Birthright number 10, great series. Um, I've got Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, number 17 and 18, and Angel and Faith, number 17. Now, here's the funny thing about this. I've got the complete series 10 of each of these so far, what they have out. But I don't have series uh, 9 of each of them because I wasn't buying comics at the time. I have yet to drop um, the 50 bucks or whatever it would cost, 50 bucks a series it would cost to get uh, 24 issues of that series. Um, so yeah, definitely need to pick that up before I've started reading this one. But I, I, I didn't want to fall behind on this one like I'd fallen behind on the last one. Um, I got Ultimate End, number four, um, wrapping up the Ultimate Universe, which makes me sad. And really, I don't even think it does it has much with wrapping up the Ultimate Universe. It just has it's set in the current universe. It's just got Miles Morales and hopefully some other characters. But right, but right now, uh, but like I said, it's the, supposedly the last Ultimate books. Um, I think there's two more coming out. Um, is it one of? Is it a six issue mini series? Usually, they get, usually ultimate books are a six issue mini series. I got spread number nine. Um, finally came out. I'm a big fan of this series. It's um, by Justin Jordan and Kyle S S Stram and Felipe Sobrero. Sure, we're going to pronounce it like that. Um, great series. Uh, its timing could be a little better, uh, you know, with getting issues out. But I'm a big fan of it. Um, so, yeah. I've got Copperhead number 9, which I've already talked to you about. I'm big, or maybe I haven't. I'm a big fan of that series. Um, Secret Identities number 6. How many issues is out of, the, out of that? I don't know. Is that the is sixth, the final issue, or the, the most recent issue? Um, and I've got Tooth and Claw number five. I got Tooth and Claw number six about two months ago um, when it came out, and I hadn't bought uh, four and five yet, so I still need to get four, but now I've got five. Um, so yeah, that's all the comics I got. Um, and this is from an out-of-the-way shop that I go to sometimes uh, in Avon, although he's getting ready to move to Greenwood, or not Greenwood, but Plainfield, called Android's Dungeon. Um, good shop. You can look him up on Facebook. Uh, and then also he sold me a uh, Marvel Legends... Uh, Spider-Man, or Spider-Man Legends, Infinite Series, Craven the Hunter. Um, now he's the only one I wanted from, uh, uh, other than Scarlet Spider, that I wanted from this series. Um, uh, the Ben Riley Scarlet Spider. I just think he looks fantastic. And he will definitely come out of the box and go with the rest of my Marvel Legends and Marvel figures. Um, I guess it's all Marvel Legends. Um, a mix of new and old. Oh, I guess I got some Marvel, two Marvel Select figures up there as well. So yeah, he will definitely go right up next to, right behind Spider-Man in front of the two members of the Wrecking Crew that I have. Still need to get two members, two other members, but they're getting really expensive. Um, so that's what I bought at the, oh no, I've got some more stuff. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, now I bought, now some of you may think this is weird. I guess I already kind of talked about this. I bought three more um, Ghostface minis. Um, and the guy gave me a price, uh, a discount for buying in bulk, so I didn't pay ten bucks a piece for him. I don't remember what he knocked off. but So now I have seven versions of Ghostface um, mystery mini. Of course, he was out of the bag, so he wasn't a mystery. But um, so now I have I have seven of them. So I have one for each killer um, from the movie, from the movies. Um, 
I'm not going to say who each killer is, but there's only four movies and there's seven killers, so you'll at least know that a couple of the movies have more than one killer. If you haven't already seen the, the screen movies, you know, that's your fault for not knowing, but, um, because they're old. Um, but yeah, so I got those. I bought, um, this is, the, uh, he had a Hellhound um, from the Supernatural Join the Hunt series that I didn't, uh, that I don't have, um, but I didn't buy him, um, because he, wa he wanted more than I was able to pay, but I did get me a $10, um, What do you call him? Uh, Thin Man. Um, from the Supernatural Join the Hunt series. And that's cool, because I didn't have him yet. Um, and then I bought an extra Sam, Dean, and Crowley. And I'm going to make... Uh, I'm going to decorate my... Chris I'm going to turn these into uh, Christmas ornaments. Um, and, tr and hang these on my Christmas tree. Um, this year. So, yeah. Um, and then I bought a Rick Grimes from Series 2 of The Walking Dead Mystery Minis, um, where he's in his sheriff's uniform. Um, I bought a, uh, Michonne from Series 2 of The Walking Dead Mystery Minis. Now it looks like her scabbard, uh, it looks like it's skinny. It, uh, I can't tell if it's open all the way in. And if you can stick something in there or not. But obviously you don't want to take your sword out of her hand. Because that would destroy it. Um, so I've got that. I've got her. I bought um, the governor. Um, mystery mini. from I guess from series 2 as well. And then I got. I think. Was Merle in series 1. Was was him and Daryl the only two in series one? Um, now it's regular Merle. It's not um, Buddy. Um, but I think he was from series one. Now I don't have any of the zombies from series one, and I I, I somehow got away without buying a Carl. I meant to buy a Carl, um, and I didn't. So I'll have to get him probably next year when I buy more mystery minis. They're not mystery, but. You know, they're supposed to be mystery me. So I bought all those. Um, supposed to have been mystery me. And then I bought... Now we're getting into the... Uh, GameStop stuff that I bought. I bought... First off, I bought... Scarlet Witch. Um, Funko Pop. Um, just came out uh, recently, as far as I know. Um, been meaning to get her... Um, and I've got Black Widow coming, um, the GameStop exclusive Black Widow. Um, so, got her, and I'll, and I'll take her out of the box eventually. I picked up the Cyberman from the Doctor Who um, to go with my Doctor Who series. Then I bought... Can you see them all? Harry, Ron, and Hermione from the Harry Potter series. Now, Harry Potter's got his own wave. So I'm really hoping that they go all out and keep just putting out wave and wave and wave of uh, the Harry Potter series. And now, this is regular Harry Potter with the wand. I still need to get Harry with the Sword of Gryffindor. And I've got Harry with his Quidditch. Quidditch? I said that a little fast. Quidditch outfits. Um... Looks like some of Ron's hair rubbed off on his, uh, thing. Um, so I bought them from, uh, Hot Topic. They're not Hot Topic, but, uh, GameStop. I bought Hagrid, um, from GameStop. Now I still need to get Snake, Voldemort, and Dumbledore. And like I said, I need to get the Hot Topic exclusive with the Sword of Gryffindor. So that's what I bought from GameStop. I got from Walmart the exclusive, the complete fifth season with exclusive Daryl Mini. 
I wasn't sure if I was going to spend um, $34 with uh, for Daryl, but I just had to buy him. Um, and I came home with money and I decided to buy it. Um, so yeah, so he will go with my other Daryls. I have um, all but one Daryl in the Funko Pop. Well, I don't have the Bloody Variant, but I've, I don't have the Poncho Daryl. And then I need, there's a couple more uh, mystery minis that I don't have. They had up there, and I don't, I didn't buy them. But of course, if I didn't, if I had bought them, I wouldn't be able to get this one. Um, and then I got the TNT uh, Nickelodeon series party wagon. Um, now I bought the. Uh, I paid full price for this. I bought the uh, Shell Razor um, a couple weeks ago um, on sale at Walmart for like 13 bucks, 14 bucks, I think total. And I bought, I paid, you know, full price for this, which is twice that, a little, a little over twice that. Um, but the reason I went on and paid full price was because the uh, the one from the Michael Bay movie is impossible to find and I had, had been meaning to get it and it's really expensive right now it's like 90 bucks on eBay or something or on Amazon so I did so I didn't want to wait too long to get this and I really like this design it, it's a lot like um, the uh, the van from the old series um, you know it's got the missile launchers it's got this the door like that um, but this one actually has a room where you can open up in front for them to sit in. Um, so, uh, with the steering wheel and whatnot. And the other one does the the shell razor doesn't have that. It has a door on the side and a door in the front, but there's no like sitting area. It's just, it's just a you know open space on the inside. And I did, I'm not a big fan of that, but I like the design of the shell razor on the outside, so I had to get it. Like I said, I really want to get the uh, the Michael Bay one, even though you barely saw it in the movie. Um, and then I want to get the one from the new movie. Um, the new movie, look, the, the design from the new movie looks fantastic. Um, so I'll get that eventually um, when it comes out. And I'd like to get the classic versions too, but you know who knows. Um, so I got all those, um, and that's all I, I don't have much time left, I only got like three minutes, so, um, like I said, I got this, most of this stuff at the Indiana Toy and Comic Expo, um, the going plan is for it to be back in Bloomington next year, um, at the convention center, um, the guy really liked the space, um, I think he had a few less vendors this year, but he had uh, um, it, the, the walking area was a lot better. Um, they, a lot more room to walk around. Uh, you know, it wasn't as cramped as it was last year. Um, he had all the artists and authors and stuff off to one side, along with a couple of cosplay experts and a face painter um, so you weren't jumbled up over it, it, it was just a, it was a much better layout I think he could have used a couple more vendors um, but the the place I bought all my um, uh, mystery mini stuff was uh, Roma collectibles I think it's Roma collectibles um, I have a card um, but yeah um, great guys. So my time's running out. Have a good day. I'll talk to you later. Let me know what you thought.